Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay Wilder. I was looking at this article by Field J by WBN, and it says, quote, Deontay Wilder would still be unbeaten if it wasn't for Jack Reese. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Deontay Wilder should be undefeated as a heavyweight and possesses the WBC title he held from 2015 to 2020. Wilder knocked rival Tyson Fury out in the 12th round of their first heavyweight meeting of three in 2008. The count has been since branded long, even by compatriots of Fury in his homeland. Those words come from the man who stepped into the ring with Fury as a mandatory challenger last April. Dillian White <clears throat> lamented the referee for Wilder versus Fury in 2018 as holding the damaged reputation for from the encounter. White questioned why this is the case as he claimed Deontay Wilder stopped Fury, who got away with favor from Jack Reese. He said, it's boxing, man. White told the Guardian, there's always been something going on, some setup. It isn't ever going to change. But with this fight, I don't understand why there's no British judges when we're, when we're both British. You wonder why Tyson doesn't want any British officials. He seems to have more live, lives than a cat. He gets away with stuff like that. Extra long counts against Deontay Wilder. I know what's up <clears throat> against, I know what I'm up against in this fight. People say I have to knock, get the knockout to win, but it's all good to me. I'm ready to risk everything. Keep an eye on the standing boxer and make sure he stays in the neutral corner. If the boxer comes out, stop the count, then put the boxer back into the neutral corner and then resume counting. Is the official word on what goes down in that event. Deontay Wilder would still be unbeaten if it wasn't for Jack Reese. Uh huh. Um, let me counterpunch. Those are the words of Deon, uh, of Dillian White. Now, uh, I always look for angles. I hear what's been said. And in 2018, let's go back to 2018, when Wilder caught Tyson Fury. I mean, for real. When he finally caught him, it was the 12th round. He caught him with a right hand, which the right hand done it. The left hook kind of put an accent on it, right? But Tyson Fury was on his back. He was on his back. Um, he was looking up at the sky like a blank stare. Um, we've seen in other accounts that when someone gets hit like that, the referee calls the fight off. Um, example, um, Danny Jacobs. Okay. Danny Jacobs was hit by, uh, pit rug. Okay. Dimitri pit rug and Dimitri hit him like that. And he did the same thing. <clears throat> uh, Referee Chris Bird waved the fight off. He even went as far as, now this is what I don't agree with. He went as far as pushing the chest down of Jacobs, not even allowing him to get up. You know, Danny Jacobs went to get up and he, he grabbed, you know, because Chris Bird's a big dude, bro. He grabbed his big ass man paws and pushed him back down and waved the fight off with his other hand. Dimitri Pitrug you know, went on to be undefeated. Of course, he uh, went into politics. He had some type of back injury or whatever, but that fight was won by Dimitri Pitrug because of that right hand. He shifted and caught uh, Danny Jacobs on the ropes, and Danny Jacobs went down like a ton of bricks the same way uh, or a similar way to Tyson Fury. Okay, well, in this case, Tyson Fury didn't have Chris Bird. He had Jack Reese. Okay. And I look for inconsistencies and I look for consistencies. And what I seen from Jack Reese, Jack Reese is the kind of referee 
that always gives the fighter the benefit of the doubt. He is not what I call a lazy ass referee. Okay. Or a lot of people look at it as, oh, an intolerable one. Um, he tolerates. I call a referee lazy when a referee sees a thing and then ready to, he, he's ready to call the fight off. Jack Reese doesn't do that. He doesn't do that in any fight that I've seen him in. Now, the day I see Jack Reese call a fight like Chris Bird, then I would question that. Why? Because that's inconsistent based on his own behavior his own habits as being a referee, okay? And uh, Dillian White saying, hey, well, the count was mad slow. Andre Ward said the count was mad slow, but he said the same thing about, in the, I think he was talking about the third fight. I'm not sure about the first, okay? Because I didn't, I didn't hear him say the count was slow in the first. I heard him say that in the third. And um <clears throat> If we're going to talk about it, we'll talk about both fights. But this is the first fight. Um, Deontay Wilder uh, caught Tyson Fury and he thought that's all he needed to do. But obviously it wasn't. And based on the decision of Jack Reese, you have to question, okay, was that a just decision or not? Uh, I don't think it's slow. I didn't think it was like count it too slow or too fast you know just like i don't think that when wilder knocked out ortiz i don't think that count was too fast a lot of people said it was too fast but i don't i don't even think that was too fast so you know it, it's not <clears throat> i think people count the way they count when they count you can't you, it's a, not a, it's not seconds it's a count it's the referee's desired count it's the way fuck he might have been a little tired that day and, you know, one, two, three, you know, it could be one, two, three, four, you know, like it's, it's up to the referee on how he counts. So when people say fast count or slow count, well, if it's just stupidly fast, I could get it. But when you're talking about slow counts, I think we're, we're taught, we're, we're, we're just, we're, we're, we're reaching, you know, we're really reaching because it's like, okay, you're giving the boxer the opportunity to see if he's okay. Not if the other guy wins. Yeah, the other guy scored a knockdown, but you're trying to see if that other guy can continue so the so the fight can go on. You know, what I see Wilder talking about, oh man, and Jack Reese, he did this and did that. It's like, you're saying that, but you had two other fucking times to make that right and you couldn't do it the two other times. You, you know what I mean? Like, you couldn't... You're talking about one fight, man. If it wasn't for Jack Reese, I'd be undefeated. Well, you got your ass beat in two other fights. And Dillian White, as far as he goes, Dillian White is a guy... Here's the angle, okay? He's a guy that got knocked out by Tyson Fury. You know, needless to say, you know, I mean, he got knocked out by him. Uh... And I think when he said those words, that was an interview before he got knocked out. So I have to look at it as his frustration and trash talk, you know, and belittling uh, Tyson Fury and add more to the dictionary of stuff that makes him or makes him or claims to make him a dirty fighter, which we've seen Tyson Fury do some shady shit. OK, so there's no you can't say, oh, we, we, you know, he, he's just an overall clean fighter because he's not. You know what I mean? But, you know, that's just like calling uh, Bernard Hopkins a dirty fighter, which Bernard Hopkins was a very dirty fighter. He was just experienced enough to do that dirty shit without being disqualified. <laughs> you know what I mean? But as far as, like, uh, the counts go, though, um, I don't think that fight was uh, refereed poorly. I think Jack Reese has done that throughout his career. I don't think he's ever counted overly fast. You know, I think he counted the same way he counts. That's what I look for again, consistency. So um, with Phil J saying, oh, well, Wilder would still be undefeated. Well, how do we know that? We don't know if Wilder would have still been undefeated because Wilder could have ran into another banana skin. That doesn't mean that he was going to, you know, he was going to kick every other ass because he hasn't fought anybody else except for Robert Hellenia since then. You know, unless you want to count Dominic Brazil, but that don't matter because Dominic Brazil has already been beat up by Anthony Joshua for seven rounds before they stopped it, right? So, 
you know, it is what it is. So um, this Wilder, this long count stuff, I mean, it will always be a debate. But for me, I think Wilder, um, Dillian White, everybody, they need to really stay out of the um, stay out of the past. But this wasn't Deontay Wilder. This was uh, Dillian White. So as for Dillian White, Dillian White needs to worry about other things of referees and judges because he just had um, a gift decision, you know, and the scorecards were way in his favor. So, you know, we got to call a spade a spade, right? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this article and Dillian White's comments towards Tyson Fury, the long count with Deontay Wilder. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.